Hi, my name is Nelly. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I make content around fashion, beauty, lifestyle, travel, everything in between. So if this is your first time coming across a video of mine, um, leave a comment, subscribe, share, and uh, thumbs up this video. If you're an old subscriber, an oldie, and a goodie, welcome back. Um, it's so good to have you. Um, today is Sunday. It is the 3rd of July and it looks like the sun wants to come out but at the same time it's very cold so it's a nice bright day but it is very cold oh and as i'm speaking the sun rays have just come into my room it's sunday i am sharing with you what i am wearing today as well as there's a plane flying over as well as the rest of the week um i will be showing you how many outfits seven and so we're kicking off with Sunday's outfit because I'm on my way to church this morning. We have mass at 8.30. So we are ready. We are going for mass. And then after that, we do have club chakras. So at the polo club, um, we do have uh, club chakras. So I'll show you guys my outfit. Um, I will be sure to leave everything linked down below, whatever it is I'm wearing. If I can find, if I cannot find the exact thing, then I'm going to share with you guys maybe something similar um and i hope that you enjoy this i was out of focus and i hope that you enjoy this uh video so we're gonna start us off i do not have my long hair anymore i took out my sewing last night uh, my hairdresser came home and we took it out and then i did a nice deep condition and i have not used any heat on my hair in fact what i've done is i have um let it air dry and then just brushed it down i put a little bit of gel and it's in a nice low bun but i have however accessorized my hair with this headband from fendi it's a new buy um, it's the first time i'm wearing it out i love it it's so soft um and doesn't like press i was afraid like a bit like squeezing my the, the side of my head i do have head headbands Alice bands that do that to me so this is very soft it's very squishy and I must tell you that I have been wanting this item for so long and the fact that I have it now is like amazing <laughs> it's like oh my god yeah um it sells out pretty fast so this one and the other satin one they sell out pretty fast I got this from Farfetch and when it was available I just simply added to cut and it sat in my cut for a while because I was going uh, back and forth to ju like justify the cost and I was like listen you've wanted this thing for so long and um here we go so that's what I'm having on my head if you're wondering what that is it's just an Alice band um for my face I have on the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation and the shade 12 and um that's all i have and um what do you call it este not este lauder laura Massey is setting powder and a little bit of contour from charlotte tilbury bronzer and that's it and then on my lips i have a little bit of uh, dior lip oil it's a very light dewy um lip gloss from dior i'm gonna leave a link here for the unboxing of all these products i'm talking about i did do a video it was a luxury haul and these items i'm speaking about now were mentioned there um, my earrings are pretty old these are from mango and they're just like tiny hoop earrings so because i have this um dramatic headpiece i just thought i would keep this simple and then um for my clothing i'll start off with this t-shirt it is actually a sleeveless t-shirt with shoulder pads i got from mango ages ago i think in 2019 it's in this brown color um, that I like. I, it's a nice neutral. It's like chocolate. And then on top of that, I am wearing this brown camel color coat from Zara. I also got a long time ago, about 2019 maybe. And um, she looks just like that. Or even older actually. And it was a pantsuit. So it came with some pants. I sold the pants a while back. Um, and I kept the blazer because it was a nice long length. And it just gave me like structure. And then for my pants, I'm wearing these jeans. Um, I've worn them before in the vlog where um, we went to like an art class. I wore these jeans then and I forgot how much I love I love them. So I'm wearing them here today with um, the blazer and the t-shirt. And these are from Mango. I keep forgetting they're from Mango, not H&M. They're from Mango and they're really good quality. And I love that they don't stretch as much. So they, they have that thick denim feel. 
and then for my shoes i have on this like um thong sandals with a little bit of a heel these are from naked fashion they're not the most comfiest um so to adjust i i just made it so loose so that the middle of my toes i'm not like uh, hurting otherwise they are so nice i like the minimalist look of the shoe and um yeah the low heel makes it comfortable but the thong does get tricky um if you don't adjust the straps correctly my bag is vintage dior this is the dior saddle bag i think this is from like 1999 if i'm not wrong um yeah so we have a nice vintage piece in our hands if not it's like from the 2000 so she is at least 20 years old and this is the dior saddle i got her from fashion file um a while back again i think in 2019 and there she is and my watch is cut here i have my wedding ring on and the other side i have my um two stackable rings that i wear on the other side and that's it that's outfit for sunday Today is Monday. I am holding a very strong cup of coffee. I I am working from home all day today, and um, I'm in my office. This is where I'll be doing most of my work um, this Monday. Sorry if you can hear some sounds. There are kids playing outside. Schools are closed. Summer holidays. Everyone's excited. Fantastic. So I'll be having background music. Background music. <laughs> on my videos for the next couple of videos but um outfit of the day headband is fendi you saw me get ready foundation is dior face and body with a little bit of contouring from charlotte tilbury i don't have anything on my lips but i do i was i was applying the nivea lip balm it's what was closest to me my top is from the geek boutique it's sold out now it's just a black sweater top it's very lightweight weather is beautiful skirt is mango it has this print there we go I don't know if you can focus there we go there's little little spots um i've spilled something here some oil uh, but anyway shoes are ms orang sandals and that's it for the outfit it's a nice warm day i will be leaving at around four o'clock and i'll just throw on a blazer and some actually i think just a blazer like a brown blazer the same one i had yesterday and that's it so yeah fragrance i'm wearing this fragrance one second so for fragrance i'm wearing kaya lee deja vu um this one um it's what i've i've been wearing like for the last couple of days and i'll keep on wearing it until like i fully mask myself in the scent but yeah that's the fragrance of the day which was the same fragrance as yesterday um, catch you tomorrow. This portion of the video is sponsored by Skillshare. That's right. Skillshare has been my go-to for the last couple of years. Skillshare is a place where you come if you want to up-level your skills, if personal growth is at the top of your list, and you're a creative, a curious person, a lifelong learner, whether you're a pro, a doubler, or just a beginner. It's a place where you come to sharpen your skills. The class I'm currently taking on Skillshare is Turn Your Art Into an NFT. It's Join the World of Digital Art. The class is being run by Benji Wilson, who is a passionate creative and entrepreneur from Melbourne. So what I aim to learn from this class is, first of all, what is an NFT? Why do artists need NFT? How to create a token? And so on and so forth. So um, it's a good class, especially if you're a digital creator. The truth is, modern world things are constantly changing. And this, of course, includes in the world of art. And um, as an artist and content or digital creator, it's very important to be um, abreast with what's going on and how technology will affect your work. So this is a good, good class for anyone who's looking to find out more about NFTs and how to mint money from an NFT. And so it's also a way you can protect your artwork and join the modern uh, world of art. 
So if you're keen on NFTs, I'd like for you to check out the class. I will leave a link down below, the first 1,000 people. To click on that link, we'll get to try Skillshare for free. So go on there, do the classwork, create your own NFT, and let me know how it goes. Good morning and happy Tuesday. I am on my way out today. I have a meeting outside. I'm actually going to the office. Um, I'm showing you guys my outfit of Tuesday and so far I've worn this headband for three days. I am convinced I will wear this headband the whole week. Like it will be a week of styling my headband. I'm really loving my low bun, styling my low bun. It's giving me this like um, chic, clean, elegant look which I'm really loving. And um, yeah, so I, I moved the bun. It was here yesterday, so I've moved it down here just because I don't want to create tension around the area where I um, tie it. So it's a nice way to just reduce breakage if you're going to be in buns um, for a while. But yeah, I moved the bun from up here. It's now down here. And then I've just slicked my edges a little bit. I don't know if I should turn the camera the other way. Maybe like so. Okay. There we go. So I've done a bit of slicking of my edges with some gel. Um, yesterday I didn't use any gel. I just used, um, um, what do you call that cream? Curling cream. That's all I used. And uh, yeah, on my face I have on the Charlotte Tilbury. I'm just going to call it CT. The CT Magic Foundation. I love it so much. I've done a little bit of contouring. Uh, and I have uh, a little bit of highlighter and that's it. And then my eyebrows are done. I've just applied lip liner. I need to apply lip gloss. I use the Dior lip oil. Um, that's what I'll use today. And then, yeah, headband is Fendi. Earrings are Tiffany. These were my first birthday present from my now husband. He was then my boyfriend. Um, but yeah, I love these so much. And then uh, T-shirt. So I think I'll turn you back around, yeah? T-shirt is um, Zara. It's the shoulder padded tees that they normally have. I think they have them every season. They're so good because it's just a simple T-shirt, but the shoulder pads give it a bit of structure. And so it just looks like it's formal. And then I've tucked that in and I'm wearing black pants from H&M. Also very simple, like um, straight leg pants. And then my bag is a mini Chloe. Um, such a cutie. I think I got her in 2019. I love her so much. She's a pop-off color and I haven't worn her in a while. And then uh, shoes are Louboutins. Oh my god, look who's wearing lubes. These are pretty old and these are my Christian Louboutin heels. Um, they are brown in color or like a tan brown in color. I love them so much. They're very comfortable. Well, <laughs> relative um comfortable if you're not going to be walking for long so i'm just driving to the office and then from there i just walk a few steps and i'm in the elevator but yeah that's what i'm wearing today they're very they elongate your leg and they make you look really like gorgeous and sexy um i want to throw on the coat i had on yesterday and the day before this is because this coat just seems to work and i love it so let me throw it on okay so this is the look with the coat on. Um, it ties it all together very well. And I do feel smart enough for the office, although I'm wearing a t-shirt. Uh, yeah, and that's the outfit for Tuesday. Um, I think fragrance is the same. I'm still wearing the same uh, Kaylee Deja Vu. Um, my watch is Rolex and then I'm just wearing my wedding ring. I've, I don't have any other rings on my other hand. I took them out and it's fine. I don't feel like wearing them. So that's my outfit. I will catch you guys tomorrow. Bye. Happy Wednesday. I am currently <laughs> wearing a wake up because i want to put on a headband wig um i know this is not like part of the norm for um for what i want this week videos uh but i just i just felt like my my hair was like too plain it's currently 3.30 this Wednesday. 
I have been home all day. I've just been working from home. But I'm stepping out now because I have a dinner with some work colleagues. And I'm leaving earlier because I am in charge of getting the cake. So yes, we're, we're doing it's a little celebration dinner. But um, yeah, I'm in charge of getting the cake. So I want to leave now so I can go to the shop where I ordered the cake as well as just make my way to the restaurant. So it's 3.30, I should be there. I have to be there a bit early because it's a surprise. It's a surprise dinner. The person being surprised obviously doesn't know, hence why it's a surprise dinner. Um, mm, my wig smells nice. I washed it yesterday. And, um, yeah. So I'm going to show you my outfit just now. I'm currently in this black dress, which I think I'm just going to keep on. And I'll try and make it look like posh posh by wearing some nice heels and throwing on a blazer just so that it looks like professional i'm looking for the combs so i can attach them here so then the wig doesn't shift but yeah just having it like that is secure enough um, for me there we go there we go i also want to add some waves or some curls on this hair i just have my flat iron over there so i'm just going to add some waves and then i'll show you guys my complete outfit makeup is still it's what i had on this morning this is the i'm just uh, maybe i should touch it up this is the charlotte tilbury makeup the foundation rather um, okie dokie so full outfit of Wednesday um, hair is hairband headband headband wig from geek hair I have added some waves or other curls and I'm turning you around so you can see um, see very nice and bouncy because the hair is also very clean but that is the headband wig and you've seen me putting this on it's just um, wake up underneath and then i just put on the headband and it's not going to go anywhere so it's a very quick solve for when you're having a bad hair day i will leave it linked down below and you guys if you want to jump on this please do we have longer lengths than this and shorter lengths than this but i'm wearing the 16 inch here and um yeah it's what i i like for now <laughs> so let me turn you around again okay so makeup is a charlotte tilbury magic foundation i'm the shade 12 which is dark and then um lipstick is ruby woo best red lipstick in the world by mac and then i am wearing the same um, fragrance which is um kle deja vu uh dress is from the geek boutique it's a pretty old one um i've had it for a while now since 2019 or 2018 i can't remember 2019 perhaps or 2020 but it's 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 not recent that's what i'm trying to say it's just a wrap style dress it has a little bit of cleavage so i've just put a pin on it i'm wearing this long coat that i got ages 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 ago from h&m this coat is easily five years old <laughs> um i love it it's a long coat um it's a like two sizes too big but i like it that way so it's good for evening or when i want to layer and then i've added leggings because i was just bare um during the day but i'm going out i said again i said for a work event and i just want to be decent so i feel like my dress is short but the leggings kind of make up for it also i'm gonna be warm because it is dinner and then my shoes are these court heels from new look or next let me just tell you h&m sorry these are from h&m and then my bag is a dior saddle vintage and that's it my watch is rolex just one ring my wedding ring and that's it um yeah and that's me so let me go get cake and then go for dinner i'll talk to you guys tomorrow i'm so excited because for me this is a short work week i'm not working on friday and on monday so that makes me happy today feels like thursday and tomorrow feels like friday but anyway catch you guys tomorrow bye hello and welcome back today is thursday um outfit of the day my hair is slicked 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 down 
uh, with some gel i've done a low bun again with a center part i thought of adding my fendi headband and then i just like cancelled it because i felt like the print was clashing with my really preppy pink look um on my face i have on the ysl all hours foundation one of my faves and then i have done a little bit of bronzing with the charlotte tilbury and i've also done that on my eyes so it's something i'm trying to do so just kind of like give myself eyeshadow but not really eyeshadow but just like giving some definition to my eyes and it's a nice matte powder so it doesn't crease i love that and then i have lined my lips with the um, mac um, night moth and then i'm wearing a nyx um nude lip gloss so that's how i have this ombre kind of look and then i have just sprayed my face with the setting part with a setting spray from charlotte tilbury as well earrings are still the same these are from tiffany these are the elsa perettis and then i'm wearing a white shirt and on top of that i'm wearing this pink sweater this is by ussp polo um it has the the polo man so it's not ralph lauren but it it's another brand that does like uh equestrian like clothing or inspired by um and it's just a nice baby pink very light pink color i think my camera is showing it very well and then i'm wearing jeans from mango these are my fave i got this from westgate mango i love them they are this nice uh dark blue wash and i have a similar pair but in a lighter wash um yeah and i love the length they are like mom jeans they are actually called the mom jeans and i love them very much and then i'm wearing my todd's uh white loafers again a week doesn't go by <laughs> and i have not worn these shoes and then my bag is a coach pillow tabby mine is the mini version it's the 18 inch i think not the 26th um and this is this is she she's gorgeous i love her um yeah and i think it goes well with my pink jumper that's the outfit for the day my fragrance is still the same it's deja vu um i am thinking of wearing an overcoat i'll let you know if i do but i don't think i will because i'm going in but it actually looks cold just one second i think i'll put on an overcoat okay so to play on the pinks i am wearing this uh i don't know if it's a deep pink or fuchsia i don't know what to call this color but um that's what i'm wearing to just mix it up with the other shades of pink because all these three shades are all different uh but i feel like it goes well it matches my denim and my full look today so when i'm going out this is what i'll just throw on and then uh, yeah enjoy the rest of your day i will catch you guys tomorrow it's friday i'm not talking i think i mentioned um but we'll see i do have like a meet up with my friends later friends and family because calvin is cal is coming with and um yeah maybe i just may wear something comfortable for that it's just drinks and a nice chat with some pals but that's the outfit of the day i think this is like my favorite one this week not gonna lie this has been my vibe lately i just want to be comfortable um and at the same time just like enjoy color or the lack of it and just like be myself and feel free to express myself through clothing but yeah that's the outfit of the day catch you guys tomorrow bye hola happy friday um 15 to 11 i am on my way out i have a dress fitting appointment this morning and then i have a nail appointment because yesterday this happened my nail came out that's a double anyway i have a nail appointment to bear after and this is my outfit of friday i don't have work today so i'm kind of relaxed although i do need to edit a video that goes live today so i'm running behind schedule on that but i'll come back home and fix it outfit of the day for friday my hair is in a low bun with my fendi headband that i have worn the whole week and i'm so glad this is actually going to be the last what i wore video like today is the last day um because tomorrow i'm just going to be at home and i want to start a new vlog tomorrow so yeah this is the last one for the you know for this video but yeah so headband and the coat have been a staple for this week so six days of just almost the same um staple pieces because a brown blazer is a staple and my headband has now become a staple i told you guys i'm gonna get my money's worth whether it whatever whether it kills me or not i'm gonna get my money's worth off of this headband and funny enough every time i have worn it and met people they'll just go like oh wow that's nice oh that's nice oh that's cute oh wow i thought it was a headpiece 
I'm loving the compliments. Keep them coming. So yeah, headband is by Fendi. On my face, I have on Fenty Beauty. I'm the shade 470. This foundation is so good. It's my actual shade. Um, I don't know why I'm not grabbing it more often, but yeah, very easy to apply. Dress is old Zara. It's just a green dress with some ruffle details. It's a, a little mini number. And then on top of that, our favorite brown coat. And then I'm wearing this brogues that I got from Toy Market, thrifted many years ago, maybe three or four years ago. They were like 300 bob. They're just some nice brogues. I really, really love them. Um, with a nice chunky heel, so they're comfortable. And then I have on my Louis Vuitton Neo Norway bag. For those of you who are new here, I got this bag in 2019 as a birthday present for myself when I traveled. And uh, I love her. I go back and forth with, do I want to sell her or do I just keep her? I monogrammed her. Uh, my initials nm so i don't know I'll, I'll keep it i'll keep it for now but that's the outfit of the day i'll catch you guys in my next video sending you love and light everything i mentioned will be listed in the description box down below so if there's anything you um like and i you know i hope you're inspired to like try out some of my looks um please check the description box down below catch you in my next one sending you love and light